Welcome back to Finer With Age. There are countless amazing older Ohioans doing incredible things that defy aging stereotypes. Recently, the executive producer of Finer With Age, Sarah Jane Duffy, traveled to Beechwood, a suburb of Cleveland, to meet an artist and sculptor who not only defies aging stereotypes, but has also overcome a disability that would have derailed others with less determination and passion. Hi Snell is doing what he loves and seeing some acclaim in a number of gallery exhibitions. Let's take a look at this clip. Well, I kid around a lot about it, but it's the most difficult thing I've ever done. I, I feel kind of lost. And I, uh, it's very difficult. Eyesight is so important and I can just see the shapes and everything else, which I'm delighted that I can do that. The eyesight is only eight years before that, and and I, for most of that time, I was a sculptor. I did these kind of things, and I sold a lot of that stuff. But I enjoy painting now, and I probably always will, and I pray that I have enough eyesight to do that. And I do like what I'm doing now. The abstract is very fascinating. And you don't have to be see to do abstract. <laughs> you just follow the, follow whatever's going on. And I enjoy living. I can't imagine what it would be, be otherwise. I tell you, art has given me a lot of pleasure. And I get a lot of pleasure upstairs, too. There's a, a woman who, uh, she's, I don't know, I guess she's a qualified art teacher, and she's been very helpful. So I offered to give her a painting because she's been so nice to me. She says, just having you around is, is all I want. Isn't that a nice compliment? That's a beautiful compliment. It certainly is. So I must have something, and then you guys pop in here and give me all this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Interviewing and and my uh, and my thinking is sky high. Next thing I'll be in a museum or something. Is that possible to get something of mine in a museum? I would imagine anything's possible. Now, I think I'm just dreaming there. When I first met you, hi, I got a call from our activities director, and she said, you've got to see this man paint. He's amazing. Oh. Yeah, and so I, I got my camera, and I went over to the art studio, and I walked in, and there's hi, and paint's flying, and he's making this beautiful creation, and everyone's just kind of watching, and yeah, just yeah. everyone's yeah. in disbelief, because here you are in your 90s, and you're creating things that people just not everyone has that talent. And so when someone goes in the art studio and they sit down and they say, oh, I can't paint, you know, then we see your art up there and it's, it's proof that if you put your mind and your heart in it that you can paint and that's what you do. Um, I so, don't think you have to be uh, uh, that talented to paint, you know. You're just pushing color around and a lot of it is accident. So to be free with it and just and I like Pollock right now a lot, and I think he's good. Well, the way Pollock inspires you, Hi, you inspire other residents here on campus. They look at your stuff and they say, wow, I want to do like that. That's, that's awesome. Well, I don't know if anybody wants to be like that. <laughs> they do. They go in the art studio and they look at your stuff. When you had your show here on campus at Menorah Park, all of your art was displayed down the hallways. It's at galleries. People look at your stuff and they're in awe. And your sculptures, they, they show so much of who you are and what you've gotten through your years and your eyes and your hands. Yes. They create what's in your heart and that inspires people. Hi, why don't you tell me a little bit about some of your works? This is your latest one. I was trying to get my own style and I was trying to get something different than somebody else for no reason. And I just have a good time with the shapes. But I think as I do them, they're all getting to have a so, sort of a similar look. So I'm using like an orange, which is a nice color. 
As a matter of fact, see there's a wax on it that this must be the crayons. You can feel it. And this is blue, and I have some with yellow in them. Now, with your limited vision, do you see some colors oh, more I easily see than, than others? Well, the orange, of course. I see orange the best. And as a matter of fact, I think red would even be too strong. And I, I always like blue colors. As a matter of fact, I think I was going to try to do this in blue only. And it didn't look interesting enough, so I added the orange to it. Now, you've also, I understand, been trying some more unusual sizes yeah. and working yeah. in long form. Tell us a little well, bit about this one. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking to do something different. I don't know why. And I, I thought I, I put two canvases together this size. And I say, gee, I, I, I'd rather make that one. And I still do the same squirrely stuff. See here, the nice movements. And, and uh, try to get action and movement. And I, I think it's uh, exciting to have a different shape piece, too. Because most people make, like, uh, landscape or and not this long. I don't, I don't think anybody's making anything this long. In your earlier career, did you um, do abstract, or has this been something that you've been moving towards? I did towards? abstract when I couldn't see. See, I was doing paintings like this here, and uh, that little boy, I did that. I, that's about 60 years old. And I enjoyed being in the streets with people. People were so attentive and everything. And I'd go back to the streets if you come with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also like this one. This one's a little abstract, but also is identifiable. Though we can tell you got a gorgeous butterfly. Yes. And then some tulips. Tell me a little bit about this one. Uh, I got the feeling that butterflies would interest people. Unfortunately, I still think of the saleability of a piece of work. And I say, gee, butterflies would be nice. This is a nice shape. And it, it, it's a very appealing to me just to, to do it. And I think I varnish this. I see a little bit of a sheen to it. Then I added this stuff. It's very free and very fun. How do you feel your artwork is, has changed as you've gotten older? I worry about that. <laughs> Do you think that uh, your years and wisdom have given you a new perspective? Well, I think the worst thing that happened is my eyesight is bad. So I almost uh, overplay what I'm doing, I guess. But then some people would say that having um, limited vision or other disabilities allows you to enhance the other senses and work yes. work and do things that other people might not uh, come I, about because I, of that. Somebody told me, and I, 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 now that I'm doing it myself, that when you're old and you can't see, that's how abstract art comes in. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. You did, see? And I think so. I think there's a lot to it. And, and artists are very creative people. And they don't want to say, I can't see. So they say, oh, I just did this. And this stuff is worth a lot of money today be, because they think they created something new. And they did. And they did create something new. So you're 92. When are you going to stop painting or making art? When are you Never. going to give it up and retire? Never. This is, this is my life. I, don't, I can't retire from this. What would I do with myself? I need the activity, and I need the galleries. I, I need all that. And I need the occasional sale, too. Makes me feel like somebody's willing to pay for something. <laughs> and I, I, I like compliments, too. <laughs> what would you say to someone um, who you might see in the art room that thinks, I'm too old to learn how to, to paint? Because you've been doing this for your whole life. You're never too old, 
and you, and you can start any time, and you should experiment. Art is experiment. You know, uh, I'm a dreamer, and I think this may open new doors for me. And I feel good about that. I feel I'm not finished yet. I just yeah. feel that this, like this happens, something else is going to happen. And then maybe something else after that else. <laughs> <laughs> For additional information on this or any of the other topics we discussed today, or to watch this and other episodes with Finer With Age, visit our website, www.finerwithage.com. Thank you for watching Finer With Age, and be sure to tune in next month.